Oh no. No, 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 no. No. Hello my strong, strong friends. In today's video, I am going to be trying some new smoothie recipes. I always have the same smoothie every single day, every time I have one, and that's really boring and I'm frankly sick of it. So today, I'm gonna to take you guys along as I try a couple of new recipes. Some are new to me, so I'm gonna give you guys my full opinion and what I think on them, and if you should try the recipes as well. If you guys like this video and other nutrition videos, then please do give the video a like so that I know to make more. And if you are new here, then please do subscribe. My name is Meg and I'm a certified personal trainer. I'm also precision nutrition certified so I've been talking a little bit more about the nutrition side of things so if you like workouts and nutrition stuff then definitely subscribe to my channel I post videos every Friday okay I won't keep you too long because we have a lot of recipes to go over so let's just jump on into it I just got back from yoga we are doing a mocha coffee based one the only caffeine source in it however is just one tablespoon of espresso we do have two sources of protein I've got one scoop of my whey protein and some Greek yogurt for all of my recipes I'm using this ninja I've had this for about a year and a half making smoothies with frozen fruit mostly and ice is probably the hardest thing I'm putting there I don't really make any sauces or like crush up nuts in this so if you want to do that then I'd probably recommend a Vitamix but so far this is great I mean obviously it's good because I can make just single serving shakes the last ingredient is a fourth a tablespoon of ground cinnamon of truth wait let me put this in a nicer container hold on there she is in all her glory um, the consistency is pretty liquidy it smells really good it smells like coffee obviously <laughs> I don't smell the cinnamon coming through um, but let's see how she tastes I'm slightly nervous that I didn't get the right espresso powder but let's just see like is espresso powder different than ground espresso? Oh, I like it. I have a feeling it's not gonna be my favorite of all of the ones that I try, but this is definitely a good option if you like coffee flavored things. I have tried whey protein powder that is mocha flavored. Replacing the ground espresso might be smart, especially if you want to avoid the caffeine if you like just the taste of coffee. I'm just thinking about my gym session yesterday. I was so tired after it. This would be a great post-workout shake. Ooh, maybe I could do this video again in the winter and try like an eggnog thing because eggnog actually has a little bit of protein in it in general, but maybe I could make an eggnog smoothie. I won't do it in July. I mean, come on now, that's a little cray cray, right? Okay, I definitely totally screwed up because I'm pretty sure that this is not what I wanted. I should have gotten some sort of instant coffee but you know, that's just really not my style to have instant coffee. It doesn't taste that bad, but I'm sure it would taste a bit better if it were the right ingredient. Yeah, I definitely totally screwed that one up, I'm pretty sure. Please don't make fun of me in the comments. <sighs> we are doing like an orange creamsicle smoothie. Sugar-free jello, heavy whipping cream, what? Some almond milk. I'm gonna switch it up and use this signature way from bodybuilding.com. I honestly don't think that the brand matters that much whenever you are really manipulating the flavor of the protein that you have. If there were to be a protein, like vanilla protein that tasted worse than this or tasted better than this, I don't think I would really notice it that much. Um, this tastes pretty good if you want to try it. I'd just get the cheapest, especially if you're just adding to smoothies and trying to cover it up. This recipe also calls for flaxseed. I went to the store and got this brown flaxseed, but already have this golden roasted. I can't decide which will look better because I don't think it really matters. <laughs> Thank you. 
one pack of this is only two tablespoons. Not excited. Let's give her a taste. I think it would be great if I would have just halved the liquid portions of it. We'll see. That is delicious. To be honest, I think had we used the entire Jello recommendation, it would have been too much. It really does taste like a creamsicle. I think the addition of the heavy whipping cream and the Jello really does kind of bring out the creaminess of everything. I don't think you'd be able to achieve it with the almond milk. This is really good and a definite far cry from my usual. I do like that this recipe has the flaxseed so you're getting some healthy fats. I love this. The thing with orange smoothies is I don't feel like they look that delicious and this one wasn't really made with any real fruit. Maybe I'll come up with my own recipe that does include some real fruit because for this one you don't really get any fruits or vegetables. I do have a little bit of a gripe with the orange creamsicle. Still good, but I think the artificial flavoring, the artificial taste to it all, isn't something that I'd wanna drink a whole lot of. Do you know what I mean? I think it's good in smaller doses. Maybe if you make this recipe and split it with another person or two, that would be great. But the more I drink it, the more fake it tastes, which it is very artificially flavored. I personally am not a vegan, but I know that you guys appreciate one. I incorporate these into my videos. And of course, if you wanted, you could use vegan options with any of the recipes that we've been doing. This is my first time trying some sort of vegan protein option. I got Vega, which is quite expensive. So we've got spring mix. The recipe does call for spinach, so hopefully I don't ruin it with this. We've got hemp hearts, have never had these before mango chunks and a banana that is frozen. She's rock hard and pumpkin seeds. I've never had vegetarian. Okay. I've never had vegan protein powder before. I'm feeling like that's the one ingredient that might taste a bit off in this one, but it smells good. It looks nice and healthy and green. I love green smoothies. Let's <sighs> cross your fingers. It's good. Oh, that's really good. I do notice a bit of the texture of the protein powder. I think that's a pretty normal thing for vegan protein powder, for it to taste a little more gritty. You know, in case I ever go vegan, I know some people have been calling for that, or incorporate more vegan recipes into anything. This is good. Of the recipes that I've tried so far, this is one of the only that has a vegetable. I like it. The vegan shake is up there for me. Now I'm someone who likes to have yogurt in my smoothie just as an added protein, a little bit of extra health benefits, not just getting protein from the whey protein powder, but I have never dreamed of trying cottage cheese. Even though yogurt and cottage cheese are quite similar, I just never thought of it as being a smoothie ingredient. Now this recipe does call for cottage cheese as a form of protein, but also some protein powder. So tons of protein in this one, and also it could be a good idea if you're someone who likes to have cottage cheese as a means of some sort of casein protein. Blueberries is our main fruit. I'm gonna try and use this vanilla coconut since I haven't used this yet. It also calls for some odd ingredients like almond extract. It asks for ground flax seeds and of course, 
our cottage cheese. This recipe does ask for regular milk. I'm just gonna use almond milk for this. Should this recipe taste good, this could be a great one to kind of plan to knock out some of your protein macros at the end of the day. I forgot to mention that this recipe also called for the zest of an orange just a little bit. So it'll be interesting to see how exactly that will taste. I don't have honey, so I hope that this tastes okay. Let's see how this one did, our cottage cheese. Uh, it doesn't look thick or anything. Okay. It smells tangy. Oh no. No, 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 no. No. Listen to me, do not make a protein smoothie with cottage cheese. That is disgusting. It tastes tangy like cottage cheese. Sometimes I think you can get away by adding fruit. Maybe it needs the honey. Should I add stevia? Let me try to use stevia first. I'm just gonna put straight up brown sugar in there to hope that this is saved somehow. <laughs> Mmm, definitely better, but not good. The tanginess is still there even after adding sugar and like sweetened protein powder. I'd rather stick to Greek yogurt, which gives you the tang, but not like the cheesy tang, you know? Do you know what I mean? This is definitely the worst of them all. I will never make a cottage cheese protein shake again, I'd rather just use casein protein powder if that is your goal. I don't really taste the orange zest coming through, but since I usually have a blueberry yogurt smoothie on my regular days, I might just add some orange zest, especially because I had to buy a few of them just to zest one tablespoon for this recipe. But I'm glad I got to use a couple of different forms of protein. Obviously, there are more ways you can use protein. You can add things like real cow's milk that has a lot of protein, especially if it's ultra filtered or you're getting like a pre-made protein shake. And then you can just add some fruit in there to get your greens and your microbes. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Thank you so much for watching. And of course, let me know if you're able to try any of these recipes, even if you wanna try the cottage cheese blueberry recipe, and let me know if there are ways to improve it down in the comments below. Do you have a favorite smoothie? If there's something I should try, then definitely comment and let me know. And if you guys enjoyed this video and wanna see more, please do give the video a like so that I know to make more like it. And if you're new here, do subscribe to my channel. I post videos every single Friday. All right, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.